Hello Taurus, welcome to another reading. This is all about how your person is thinking or feeling about you at this time, the person that you're dealing with or thinking about. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. Messages for Taurus, please, and love. Messages for Taurus. What are the mutual energies? In this connection mutual energies in this connection spirit this will be for those of you who already are in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind chop wood okay number 42 the keywords to number 42 being grounded in everyday experience humility just do what you need to do today day to day let your heart remember that not everything has to be hard won passionate or even obviously meaningful relationships and friendships go through lulls this is that is perfect now hold hands wash dishes make a fire leave space to breathe the work of your relationship right now is very simple just be present funny how it takes work to just be all is well hmm maybe What I'm picking up here, uh, Taurus, is that maybe your relationship has been how do I say this? It's almost like you haven't had a chance to just enjoy your relationship for whatever reason. Maybe the, you're both very busy, have your own responsibilities. Maybe there is a lot going on. Maybe there hasn't been, maybe you've been resolving conflicts with each other. Um, maybe you're distant from each other and you haven't had a chance to just have a normal, calm <laughs> day in your relationship. At least in the, in the recent past here. For Taurus. This is in the animal spirit deck to get your energies here. Taurus, I'm going to put you on one side and your person on the other, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more. Spirit, what energies are is Taurus bringing to this connection? First up, okay, that's way too many. What energies is Taurus bringing to this connection? Ooh, shark. Tension. Something that's not being said, the elephant in the room with the shark. There's tension about a situation. Someone needs to speak up. Why did I put this away? I'm not sure. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. What are their energies in this connection? Okay, that's way too many. Why, why can't I get just one card, please? For the person that Taurus is dealing with. Ooh. Entanglements with the octopus. Something is tangling your person, tripping them up here. Get the octopus. Reaching, yearning, lacking boundaries and direction. Perceptive, healthy boundaries. This results in... Oh, lack of healthy boundaries. This results in well-intended but messy relationships. The octopus entwines its, itself into other people's business. They believe that's what it means to be close. Begin to establish healthy boundaries. Be patient and firm. So your person could either be in a situation that maybe there's a lot of uh, gossip, negative energy, um, people with low vibrations, something like that. I feel like your person is entangled in something unhealthy. And I feel like it's affecting your connection. Why can't I find the shark? <laughs> okay. Directness, exposure, revealing true nature and desire. The shark is only dangerous when we don't acknowledge it. Something big needs to be exposed. It's lurking in the depths and creating tension. 
I feel like you have some sort of suspicion here. Shark energy takes over when we are hesitant to be honest, to be totally ourselves, or to say what we really want. Sh okay, so I feel like you are trying to, or you want to be direct with this person about whatever situation they have going on. Um, maybe you fear that when you're direct with this person, it'll affect your connection in a negative way. And that's why you might be holding back. But I feel like it's just creating tension. There's something that I feel you want to get to the root of, Taurus. Messages for Taurus, please. Now, this will be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Taurus watching. Keep that in mind. If this resonates for you in any way, please hit the like button or leave me a comment telling me how it's resonating for you for Taurus. All right, so let's get the main energies here. What is going on in this connection spirit? What's going on? Nine of Wands, what's going on? Again, the, I, I just, that that is that shark energy, the Nine of Wands. It's like someone's kind of like wary, watchful, not very, like, not able to trust fully Standing guard, guarded. Nine of Pentacles. This is freedom, independence, stability, security. Like two different energies here. What is going on in this connection, Spirit? Wheel of Fortune. Okay, what's this? King of Swords. Okay, so communication might uh, shift a wheel here. The wheel is all about big, happy changes. Um, things happening in direct, in direct, in divine timing. <laughs> when the wheel turns, everything changes. It is a big change. And usually it's a change that's in your favor in some way when it's upright like this. And I think it's going to come from either some sort of clarity or communication that, that takes place here. Tell me more about Taurus. What are their energies in this connection? Six of Pentacles. Nope. Tell me more about Taurus. What are their energies in this connection? Ten of Cups and Three of Wands reverse. So I feel like um, you see the potential here in, uh, with this person. Um, I think you give a lot of your heart to this person. Uh, maybe this person makes you very happy. Maybe you feel like this is the person that you're meant to be with, or um, perhaps this is something that you feel is an equal partnership of some sort with the Ten of Cups. However, with the Three of Wands reverse, there's something off here for you. It's like you've been waiting a really long time for this, or you've been very impatient regarding something here. Perhaps you feel like you're nervous about missing an opportunity. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. What are their energies? Yeah, look at this. Entanglements right there with the devil card. Capricorn energy. I feel if your person's trying to, maybe they're trying to get away from these entanglements, your person, but they're blocked from doing so. The, these entanglements could be anything. It could be um, uh, addictions, temptations, uh, toxicity. What else can you tell me about Taurus's person? The person that Taurus is dealing with, what can you tell me about this person? Oh, I got two. Judgment and Two of Cups reversed. Now with Judgment here, there's some sort of um, awakening for your person here. Something that they are realizing regarding the past, regarding a disconnect here. You might have been separated at one point or separated now.
Maybe this person's entanglements have caused a disconnect between you. Either in the past or now. So let's get some clarifiers here. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. Spirit. Let me clarify these energies for Taurus. That wheel, I feel, is going to be the big factor here. King of Wands reverse. Nine, nine of Swords reverse. Okay. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here in the main energy between you? Seven of Cups. What about the Nine of Wands? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're holding back. Someone here is holding back. Um... I feel like, remember, this is the main energy, so you're both here. Uh, one of you is holding back, maybe both of you, due to um, a decision that needs to be made. Maybe some options are presented to you and you are not sure which one to choose. Uh, there's a lack of trust here, either in someone's own judgment or a lack of trust in whatever options being presented to them. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands. Six of Cups reverse. This is something to do with the past in some way. Because of the past, I feel, uh, someone's holding back. Like, they don't want to give too much. Here. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles here. Justice reverse. Someone could have um, had a divorce or some sort of separation and are now single. More about the Nine of Pentacles. Something that was unfair to someone, it didn't hold them back. It didn't it didn't um, affect them. It's a tower reverse. They might there might have been a tower here. I feel like someone is no longer fighting something that was unfair. It's like um like what I'm picturing is someone that was in a situation that was unfair to them and they were still giving something to that situation even though there was nothing in there for them, right? I feel like someone's no longer fighting and just doing them. Like they're just focusing on themselves. They're still thriving even if something was unfair or unbalanced. Tell me about this wheel. Why is this wheel here? Tell me about this wheel. The devil. Yeah, something's changing with this entanglement. There's a big change here. Whatever this entanglement is. If it's family, if it's career related, if it's partner related. Tell me about the wheel. Tell me about this wheel. The high priest is reverse. Five of pentacles. Something coming to light, something that was a secret. Two of Cups reversed at the bottom again. Whatever separation there was, someone was left out, abandoned, or felt abandoned, or left behind, felt lonely possibly. I feel like someone's going to be left out of the cold when this entanglement or our devil energy is taken care of. Something's going to come out here. Tell me more about this wheel. Yeah, it. Yeah, it might have. It might be very disappointing to someone when this comes out. It's like a secret comes out, a revelation comes out, and. The other person, whoever finds this out, is going to be it's 
it's almost like they're, they're not going to cope very well with it because it had to do with some sort of deception. Um, there's going to be heartbreak, family issues. Someone's going to feel like they wasted their time or they invested in the wrong thing, the wrong person. This is very complicated here, uh, Taurus. If this is resonating for you in some way, let me know what situation here do you think might come to light where it's going to leave someone else feeling very heartbroken or like they were lied to. Because that's what I feel like. Whatever this wheel is, it's going to reveal something big. Okay, so tell me about this Six of Pentacles for Taurus. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Two of Cups reverse. I feel like you want things to rebalance in this. Whatever disconnect is happening between you, it's like you want things to come back and rebalance. The Hangman reverse. Need a Wands reverse. Maybe there's little communication, uh, little movement here. Maybe um, your person's just not able to put in the, the work that they need to put in. Maybe they're not able to, to give you as much as you give to them. I feel like this is something that you want to fix. I feel like you want to talk to this person. Yeah, you want to communicate. Page of Swords, Queen of Swords, Four of Swords. There's probably little communication between you or the communication that you're getting is not the direct communication that you want. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. I feel like talking to this person, maybe you're watching this person. I feel like talking to this person. Okay, so you want to, yeah. Okay, the moon. I feel like you want to talk about, yeah, Ace of Swords right after that. You want to clear the air, clear up the confusion. Um, you want to stop the fighting, stop the drama, um, be happy again, be stable and emotionally grounded again. Tell me about this Three of Wands reverse. Where's the Three of Wands reverse? Three of Cups. Four of Cups. Knight of Wands. I feel like, yeah, you're waiting for something that you've been waiting for a long time. I feel like you've been waiting to say something too, to this person. It's like you want to reunite, come together here, but at the same time, and, 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 and while you've been waiting for this, you haven't been open to other opportunities or um, maybe you're worried that you feel the some, a certain way for this person that they don't feel for you, like you're the only one invested here. Maybe that's causing you to hesitate and not go after something. But you're, you're focused on coming together with this person on healing this connection. What's this devil about? What's the devil here? Three of Pentacles reverse. What's this devil here? Can you tell me about this devil energy spirit? Nine of Wands reverse. Tell me more. Page of Cups reverse. Queen of Wands. Three of Pentacles reverse. This could be a third party interference or something interfering in this connection, which makes sense. Could be work related or related to finances in some way. With the Nine of Wands reverse, I feel like your person is like ready to give up here. Maybe this is taking a toll on their health. Um, they're heartbroken by something, disappointed by what you know whatever this is is probably affecting them emotionally or it's affecting their health um could even be this queen of wands a person tell me about the eight of wands reverse what's this about the emperor reverse your person doesn't have the courage or the resources or the power they feel to leave this it's like they're waiting for the right time sorry I, I hit the tripod you could be dealing with an aries or a water sign here or a capricorn 
You're waiting for the right time to talk. Temperance, Queen of Swords. I feel like your person also wants to rebalance this situation, but with the Emperor Reverse, they don't, it's out of their hands, they feel. Tell me about judgment. King of Cups Reverse. Tell me about judgment. The star. Here you are. Well, no, you're not. You're a higher, you're a Taurus. Aquarius, you're dealing, some of you are dealing with an Aquarius because the minute I put this card down, I thought, there you are. I feel like this star is very important. Tell me more about judgment. Queen of Wands again. This Queen of Wands is involved in some way. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then there's judgment again behind her. This Queen of Wands is part of, I feel, what's getting in the way here. With the star, this is hope, healing, renewal. It's like your person probably wants to renew this, have a rebirth, a resurrection of this connection, a second chance. Um, but I feel like there's more to this story with the tower reversed here. It's like in the King of Cups reverse, it's like they're emotionally unable to make a decision here. Uh, maybe they are not coping well with whatever situation they're in. Maybe they can't even think about love right now. Tell me about this Two of Cups reverse. There's a Two of Cups reverse. Two of Pentacles. A choice. Your person's juggling two things, two situations, two people, two ideas. Yeah. And you it's like almost like they don't even know which choice to make with the moon. Or maybe they're not telling anybody what choice they want to make. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Whatever choice this is, is going to cause a storm. Possibly financial. Could be dealing with a Pisces, doesn't have to be. Can I get one more for the Two of Cups reverse? Did I put a card back? Sorry if I did. Yeah, they wanna talk. Ten of Swords at the bottom. See, it's like whatever they talk about or whatever communication takes place, there's something that's gonna end or change. A cycle will, will come to a close. That's why they haven't made this decision yet because it's a big decision. If this is resonating, let me know in the comments what what is going on here. This could be happening in the dark, like your person might not be telling you about this decision or this choice. Um, I feel like this choice is related to you, to what happened between you, or perhaps someone needs to let go of a partnership they're in right now. What's... The potential outcome here for Taurus and this person's spirit. 